Welcome back. Agent Zero has received another update. This time it's the automatic embedding, which should make it easier for new users to onboard and start using Agent Zero. Agent Zero is completely free and open source. You can visit the official web agent-zero.ai to learn more about the project and its features. And you can also join our community on one of our socials. A lot of new users had trouble setting up the embedding model mostly because not all model providers provide embedding models. For example, Anthropic or Grok, they only provide chat models. So if you wanted to run Agent Zero for free using Grok, you still had to find yourself an embedding model to use. But what exactly is an embedding model? Most new users don't even know why they need embedding model. So this is the model responsible for managing the memory of Agent Zero in a nutshell. It is the model capable of converting text into vectors and storing them in a vector database, which is then used to search memories and solutions. So without this model, Agent Zero will not be able to use its memory. It will actually not be able to operate at all because it's dependent on its memory. Previously, the embedding model, just like other models when you first run Agent Zero, was preset to OpenAI service. Now it has been changed to running locally inside the Docker container. It is using all mini LML6 model from Hugging Face. This is pre-installed in the Docker container, so new users don't have to change anything here and the model works out of the box. The model is small enough to run on CPU and the quality is good enough to manage Agent Zero's memory. So this should make it easier for new users to just hop in and start using Agent Zero without any additional config. For example, if you want to change the chat model, utility model to some free alternative like OpenRouter or Grok, you can change these models and not worry about the embedding model. Also, another update added in this version is that when you change the embedding model on the fly, it will automatically re-index the vector database. The thing about embedding models is that once you embed the data, only the embedding model can then be used to search the data. So previously, if you were to change the embedding model, you would have to delete your memory database and start building it all over again. Now the system will re-index it automatically for you. As a little example, I can tell the agent that my dog's name is Jack. The agent used the memory tool to save the information. Now let's change the embedding model. To OpenAI, let's start a new chat and ask the agent Do I have any pets? Yeah. And we can see in the utility messages that the vector database has been re-indexed and a memory about my dog has been found in the database. So you still have the option to choose any embedding model you need. If your use case is specific, if your knowledge database is very large and you need high precision search, you can find a large embedding model that will better suit your needs. But the default one running locally should now be more than capable for all basic use cases with Agent Zero. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow our socials so you don't miss any future updates and see you next time.